Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Georgia Properties and Kelly Finley Real Estate University. Today we're continuing our discussion about buyers, how much frustration they're having in the marketplace right now, and the tools they need to put in their toolbox so that they can move from being frustrated to being happy homeowners who were successful in purchasing a home that maybe other people were also fighting for. I'm sitting outside on my porch today. It was the first day that feels like fall. It is gorgeous. I hope you're enjoying your time as well. This was a house that we didn't have to fight for. It was a dog. It was a fixer-upper. So most of you are not looking for a fixer-upper. You're looking for a mover-inner, and so is everybody else. So today we're gonna to talk about relationships and how important they are to being successful in that pursuit. I wrote down a few notes. I have four relationships that are gonna play into that process and make it more likely that you're successful. Number one is the relationship that your agent has with your lender. That's right, your agent with your lender. So when you go to choose a lender, something that's really gonna help you in a multiple offer situation is for you to use a lender that your agent can vouch for. That she can say, listen, I know Doug, he's great, he's gonna get it done, he's already done their pre-qualification. Here's his name and number, call him anytime. You can call him this evening, you can call him on the weekends, and when you use an, a lender that your agent has that relationship with, it really moves you to the top of the pack. And that's really important in multiple offer situations. So think about that as you choose your lender and choose wisely. Number two, the another, another relationship that's really important is your relationship with your agent. And the word that I wrote down is trust and ethics. Is your agent someone that you really trust, that you know she's telling you the truth, you know that he or she is always working in only your best interest? Because when you do that and you get into that pressure cooker of going after a house when it comes on the market and you know you want it, you're gonna need to know that what he or she is doing is ethical and it's in your best interest and that you can rely on them. So look for an agent that you have that great relationship for with. The third type of relationship that is really important in this process is your agent's relationship with other local agents. If your agent is someone who works in the area that you have targeted it, and in the price point that you're looking at, she or he is probably gonna have relationships with a lot of other agents who do similar business. So for instance, near my home, which is where my, the bulk of my business comes, there are probably 15 or 20 agents who I regularly check in with when I have a listing coming up or I have a buyer looking for a home, and they do the same to me. So by using an agent who has those great uh, relationships and that network of local agents, you're going to be able to get an inside scoop. And other people are really going to want to work with your agent. They're going to look forward to that opportunity to get a contract together before it even hits the market. And both parties will be successful and happy. Both agents know that they're working with someone they can trust and that will um, bring it to closing smoothly, that's a great thing to have in your corner. And then the fourth relationship that I wanna talk about is your agent's relationship with the listing agent. So when you finally find that home that you wanna put the offer in, particularly if there is a multiple offer situation, you want an agent that is going to have the skills and personality to build cooperative partnerships. There's a time and place in real estate to be a bulldog and to be put your big girl pants on and push through some tricky situations. But in multiple offer situations, you want that listing agent to feel comfortable and confident with your agent that this is gonna be cooperative and they're gonna make it easy and smooth all the way to closing because they're comparing you to these other offers. And oftentimes there's not a big difference between offer A, offer B, offer C. And if your agent has done a great job advocating for you, explaining how you and um, you, as you as the buyer is going to be uh, low risk, uh, great financially, easy to work with through the inspection period, that's an agent that you want in your corner. So a lot of this, those four relationships that I'm talking about, goes down to who your agent is. You need an agent who builds these relationships. So there's a couple questions that I want you to ask any agent that you're thinking about using. Number one, how many homes have you bought or sold in the area that I wanna buy a house? 
and is it were they at the price point that I'm looking to buy you want someone with a lot of experience number two how long have you been working in this area now years and years and years you don't have to have but I would say you know in order to build up that network of local agents you probably need to be doing some good business for three years four years and the longer the better because that list of contacts just gets longer every year the number of agents you've had experience working with it gets longer so you want an agent who's been doing it for a while and number three how much um, experience do you have with multiple offers someone who an agent who doesn't do a lot of multiple offers may not know all the different ways that you can adjust your offer to make it rise to the top that's all I have for today. In our first segment, we talked about preparation. I gave you 16 strategies to put into your toolbox. If you haven't looked at that, you might wanna look back into that video. Today, we talked about those relationships and how important they are. And the last segment I'm going to be doing on Frustrated Buyers is the one where you're going to want a piece of paper and a pencil. This is the one that is really going to dig into the nitty gritty nuts and bolts of that contract and the terms that you are going to write in to make it rise to the top so that you become a happy home owner because you put in an offer that a seller will want to work with and it's not all about price believe me price is important but so are all those other terms that you can adjust one way or another i'm kelly finley this is real estate university and i hope you've learned a lot about becoming a very successful buyer